Powerful presentation aids by the two grammarians. When you are presenting, you will need visuals. And this video is to help you choose the type of visual that might best fit your presentation. The first thing you need to do is decide on the type of presentation. Will you be presenting online, in person, or both? Will you be presenting for one or two, 10 to 15 people, or hundreds or maybe thousands of people? Or will there be a recording for later viewing? Or will it be streamed live? Once decided, start brainstorming on the type of visual that you can use. You can use a traditional Blackboard, or you can use the chosen software on the computer and project it on a large screen, or use the chosen software that you have and go with an interactive sharing with your audience. There are many, many choices out there. There is a few listed there. And please add your own suggestions below. Then you can choose whether you want to have your presentation with no technology at all, go no tech. You can have low technology, use very simple, basic technology, or go all out with high tech. You can also do combination, of course. So choosing the type of visuals you want to use depends on the location. Are you in a small room? very cozy where you can just simply share your tablet or your laptop? Will you be showing detailed graphs that audience need to see very clearly? Will you be writing a lot? Will you be in a small meeting room? Perhaps you will be in a very large auditorium. In that case, you definitely need to check the sound system, the microphones, the lighting, If you choose to go with the traditional Blackboard, it gives you lots of on-the-spot flexibility. Audience may like the traditional sound and view of chalk on a Blackboard. You can easily ask someone to assist you in writing on the board or have many participate at the same time. Blackboard is very easy on the eyes and it's easy to erase and draw pictures. It has been successful for many, many years and continues to be. The whiteboard is very popular in the last few years. The whiteboard with the dry erase markers write very smoothly and they are quiet as you are writing. So it's easy on the hands and easy on the ears and you have many colorful markers to choose from. Some markers, however, have an odor, and this is not recommended in rooms with poor ventilation. And of course, if the presentation is filmed and projected, think about the white, because it is a little bit more tiresome on the eyes. Depending on the type of presentation that you have, you may choose to go with posters and pictures pinned on the wall. This is particularly good if you want audience interaction, you want to put your audience into groups, and then you want them to brainstorm and then present later. Or it is some form of artistic presentation where audience can add artistic pictures to papers, 
um, passed around the room and then you can post them around the room for everyone to see. You have to be prepared. You have to go in with pins or masking tape. And also you need to check to see if the walls are appropriate for pinning and sticking things on so that you do not damage the room that you are presenting in. An old-fashioned easel is also very popular, particularly for artistic presentations. Many also put a flip chart on the easel and they can write with the markers and flip the papers up and to go to a fresh paper or they can rip the paper off and share it with the audience. And sometimes audience can take these notes home. Lots of different options. So here are some guidelines. Remember the specific purpose of your presentation and use your visual aid to explain or clarify when needed. Otherwise, it can be a distraction. Make sure that it is easy on the eyes. Don't forget some fonts are easily more easily read. Some colors are easier on the eyes. Be very careful with red on green or green on red and other particular colors that are not easy to distinguish for everyone. Always check devices and your audio aids, the lighting, the sound system ahead of time. Always remember to have eye contact with your audience as you are sharing your visuals. A little glance to the screen and then a glance to your audience. Keep it well balanced. Also keep everything simple, especially maps and charts. You do not want to distract your audience trying to figure things out. And finally, don't be shy to ask for assistance. As you are presenting and you feel that you need someone to help you with the flipping of the chart, writing on the board, or any type of technological assistance, ask for it. There's always someone in the audience who will be more than happy to jump up to the, to the stage or to the front of the room and help you out. And in conclusion, just a quick review. Choose carefully. Think about the topic you have chosen and choose the visuals accordingly. Consider the location. Check devices ahead of time and keep it simple. And don't forget to ask for help when you need it. Thank you for watching the two grammarians, the public speaking videos segment. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you like this video, hit the notification button, and subscribe. Thank you.